He was moved some time ago, I said, to a convalescent home. But I thought this was a convalescent home, said 6457's mother. <laughs> Silly woman. A convalescent home, I countered. No, no, not at all, not at all. Whatever gave you that idea? This is a rest home. Oh, said 6457's mother, I see. Or wasn't he getting enough rest that they had to move him to a convalescent home? Ah, Mrs. 6457, I said. It's not quite so simple as that. It's not quite so simple as that. You see, in a rest home, you do not merely rest. Uh, nor in a convalescent home do you merely convalesce. No, no, you see, in both institutions, you were obliged to work and play and join in daily communal activity to the greatest possible extent. Otherwise, the concepts of rest and convalescence will be rendered meaningless. And don't for a moment either think that the terms rest and convalescence are synonymous. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, they represent, you see, stages. Sometimes one must first rest and then convalesce. Uh, sometimes the reverse. Either course, of course, is only determined after the best interests of the patient have been taken into account. So, I continued, you can rest assured that if your son was moved from here to another place, it was in his best interests. And only after the most extensive research into his case, the wealth and weight of all the expert opinion in this establishment, where some of the leading brains in this country are concentrated. After a world of time and care, gathering and accumulating of mass upon mass upon mass of relevant evidence, document, affidavit, tape recordings played both backwards and forwards, deep into the depths of the night. Hours of time, attention to the most minute detail, unstinting labour, unflagging effort, scrupulous attachment to the match in hand, and meticulous examination of all aspects of the question determined the most beneficial course your son's case could take. In conclusion, after this supreme example of applied dedication, it was determined that your son should go to a convalescent home, where we are sure he will be content. I also pointed out we had carte blanche from the Ministry. She left much moved by my recital. 